As we approach Memorial Day, we want to reintroduce you to a Collin County artist. He's painting portraits of our heroes. And tonight, he adds one more that hits home for us. Here's Kevin Reese. A statue of William Barrett Travis stands guard in the Collin County Courthouse. In front of dozens of portraits of soldiers and airmen and sailors and Marines, the sons and daughters of Collin County lost in our country's wars. Their names are all important. Portraits and names reborn here. Do some highlights. On a computer shade. in an upstairs room of Colin Kimball's house in McKinney. This gentleman's name is uh, Kenyon Wellman. He and as in from... Kenyon Wellman's case, he takes an old grainy black and white photo and with a computer stylus fills in the missing pixels, adds color and texture, oh, dear, intricate the, detail. The tedious part is the historical research. And then and the complete uniform gathering they all would the have elements, worn. The patches, the badges, the the cords. Until an old photo becomes a portrait that fully honors the life. And here's where we are. And the sacrifice made. But I want to do as many as humanly possible. He can track that motivation to the loss of a childhood friend. His name was Franklin D. Lacey, a Marine among the 58,000 Americans killed in Vietnam. The idea of people not remembering him has always bothered me. And so my goal is to preserve as many of them as I can. 54 of Kimball's portraits hang in the Collin County Courthouse. Next month, he will add five more, the ones waiting right now in his upstairs room. But there are more than 400 military fatalities from this county alone. So at his computer, Kimball will keep painting. There's a saying, and, and it really kind of captures my motivation, a soldier's never dead until he's forgotten, and it's my job to make sure that these uh, soldiers outlive all of us. And tonight, he adds his signature to the life and sacrifice of yet one more. In McKinney, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News. Yeah, it's such nice. a great project. Uh, I'm a military oh. brat, so th these really, I think anybody who's associated with the military, this is really special, what the work that, that's done, I think. Yeah, and Dale, you met uh, Colin Kimball before. It was part of our uh, Taking a Knee special last fall. Oh, yes. You, you remember yes, that? Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. I, I yeah. thought that you might. Wow. You know, uh, wow. you, you told him about your friend Carol Meyer. Who was, who was killed in uh, when 49 he, years ago. Yeah, 49 years ago. And yeah. uh, uh, Colin Kimball is here with us tonight, and uh, he has something that he, uh, <laughs> that he made from you. Uh, you. He's here tonight, and he, he just wants to present this uh -huh. to you. How are you? I'm good, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't mean to make you feel no, that's, that's, that's all right. Everybody knows every time I go to a banquet, my wife says, you're not going to talk about Carol Meyer, are you? Mm. Because uh, this is one of my very, very best friends. And um, it, it, <clears throat> it has been 49 years since he was killed in Vietnam. And I'm bound to get over it someday. Uh, but I'm not over it yet. No. Um, <laughs> that, uh, well, won't this be fun to do sports in a little bit? That's, uh, this is the greatest third baseman ever played the game, Pete. Slowest man who ever walked the planet Earth. Came to my house. I was headed off to the Navy, and he was headed off to the Army, and he said, Dale, this is the last time we'll ever see one another. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, if I can't outrun a base hit to right field, how can I possibly survive in Vietnam? Mm. And he was in that country six weeks, and... Uh, <clears throat> Someone shot him right between the eyes, and Carol Meyer will be 18 years old forever. And I have never forgotten that young man. It'll be 50 years that he died Memorial <coughs> Day, by the way. 50 years ago on Memorial Day this Monday. That's unbelievable. Thank you. That's called Providence. Thank you very much. Appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, again, that uh, uh, that I did not expect. Uh, we should remind you that a lot of people, and Dale, you know this, make the mistake of thinking mm. that Memorial Day is Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. It is not. It is a day that we recognize the people who did not come home so that we could do, we can do what we do. So we thank you very much uh, for doing this. <laughs> yeah. Colin, thank you very much. Thank I'm, I'm going to let you guys visit for just a moment here. I'm, I'm going to uh, give everyone the, the forecast.